Hello everyone, and today I'm going to give you a review of the film that I literally just finished watching on DVD. Uh, and that is the 2011 film, Warrior. And this film is fucking phenomenal. Simply for the word for it, it is phenomenal. I got this from the library and this goes on the, on the cover of here. It says, as powerful and unforgettable as Rocky. Fiercely moving. It really is. Now, the story basically goes like this. Um, there's a father, played by Nick Nolte, and he, he used to be this type of trainerist, trainer um, for workout people. And he has two sons, played by Tom Hardy and Joel Egerton. And um, basically, Joel Egerton's character is the older brother um, to Tom Hardy's character. And Joel Egerton's character is basically a teacher who um, used to be a workout builder. Uh, he's a, he used to be, he was a teacher at a high school who was also once like a trainer at a gym. And his brother Tom Hardy is a ex is an ex U.S. Marine. I mean, basically, just like. Um, um, as the film goes on, you figure, you figure out in the end, near the end, that he, that him and his squad, uh, something horrible happened in his own squad, and he went a while, and he went, um, disappeared from his army for a while, and um, basically from there they both entered this wrestling tournament. Well, I won't say wrestling, but it's MMA. It's MMA. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. And basically, they eventually. Um, like through that plot, it seems like they're gonna go through and really build up for this real, like, real authentic and beautiful and heart pounding type of story. And it goes through those, all those things triumphantly. Now, the acting is fucking superb. It is superb. Um, Nick Nolte is unbelievable. There's a scene when in this film. When when him and Tom Har Tom Hardy are in a hotel room, and I think uh, Nick Nolte I think is quoting the Bible in a certain verse, and in the way he and, and he's listening to it through a tape recorder, and it, the way he puts pulls out such an emotional anguish, and so it's so emotional and so heartbreaking. I'm just like oh my gosh, like he's putting in so much effort. He really wants just wants the best and forgiveness and just an overall. I mean, um, like, um, apology from both of his sons towards him and towards each other. He just wants that balance again for his sons. Uh, Tom Hardy is, in my opinion, probably the standout performance in, my, in this film. Like, he really seriously impresses, impresses me. I loved him in Inception. I thought it was in that film, in Inception, he was a very much of a wisecracker character. The this film, he was just like totally serious and totally straight. And he also played Bronson, Charles Bronson, in a, in a film called Bronson. And that film was unbelievably great. He was monumentally amazing in that film. And this is definitely his best performance. He just put so much energy and determination and anguish and real hatred and anger into this portray all this character and Joel Egerton comes into this role very very openly and tries to ask his brother for forgiveness while Tom Honey won't give him forgiveness. He just wants forgiveness for his own sake and therefore you can never, I love that, like how I said with Donald Plenty the Apes is that they, there's never pointing at the finger. You can see both these sides of these certain perspectives and there, there's never a determined hero and there's never a determined villain. It's like you can understand both of their sides and both of their motives, and it's so spectacularly done well. It's just emotion, and like Joel Egerton really puts in this really uh, real heartwarming and very open and very very kind type of character for him. And well, Tom Hardy is much more of a hard ass character. And of course, the drama is one hundred percent there. It's like such a heartwarming and thought provoking and it's such, so intensive and so in engaging too. Those moments in the film where I was literally in my own view, like I was putting myself in these characters' perspectives. Like I really felt like I'm always 
there are characters. I felt like I was in these certain situations. I felt like I was I was these characters going on a certain journey. I felt like experiencing the emotional um, triumphs and fall downs, which was monumental to feel. And when the film can put you in the story's perspective, like when you get so engrossed into the story, you feel like you become the story, even though you're actually not. Like. That's the sound of a film that's doing a fucking phenomenal job. And of course, the drama and the. There's just a heart and a drama, and a, there's such a genuine honesty and a care for the film that's trying to do the. It's one of the. It's like. It's just wonderful what it is. Like in 2010, we got the fighter, and I really, really enjoyed the fighter a lot. But in my opinion, like this is like, this is way better than the fighter. Even though I did really, really enjoy the fighter, this film surpasses it. And I think this is the best boxing movie since a million dollar baby. And that's one of the best. Oh, well, that is one of, the be of Clint Eastwood's best movies. And it is just a, such an anguish and a feel. Of um, a real, real tenacity and of such an anger and such a great feeling you get through this film, of you get the certain um, feeling of forgiving the ones you've done wrong in the past and not and you shouldn't be willing to hold on to these grudges. You shouldn't be holding on to linger on what they've done for so long. Is that you gotta understand that they're human and eventually, at some point or another, either you believe it or not, they are gonna change and they are going to realize their mistakes and they aren't going to realize that. You've got to understand that and the film just puts it to the real nth degree. It shows through all things you can find forgiveness even in the worst of people, even in family, even in friends, even in siblings. And it just puts it to the absolute 100% greatest in this film and you really, really believe Joel Egerton and Tom Hardy as brothers and uh, Nick Nolte is her father, and of um, it's just wonder wonderful. And also, the cinematography in this film, as weird as I'm saying that, because this is a wrestling, this is a, excuse me, this is a wrestling movie, but this, the cinematography and the directing is absolutely substantial, amazingly good. Okay, I will admit, like, there's some moments where it's kind of like, um, there's a scene when Tom Hardy and Joel Egerton are meeting each other for the first time, since uh, Tom Hardy characters left, like, for a long time ago, and they meet each other for first time on the beach, and there's, like, a bit of a shaky cam, is like, that could get a little bit distracting, but you can, in my view, I can kind of forgive that, because the film is just trying to be so grounded, and so realistic, and so, this accurate, what these characters were truly going through at that moment, and I think this is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and also, I just feel like such an, like, in the end, I feel like, I wouldn't say this as a bit of a flaw. As much as I loved these, also the fights, the fights were absolutely amazing, I'm sorry. If you know, something like that, the, the fights were absolutely fantastic. But the reason, this kind of let me do another flaw, in the, in the flaw to the, in, in, within this film, and that is, um, as much as I love seeing these two characters fighting other characters, you get a good sense of that these are two brothers entering the same type of tournament. And eventually in the end, like how the trailer shows you, if you've seen the trailer, if you've seen the movie or not, is that you know eventually in the end, they do end up fighting. And as much as I love watching these two, Joel, Joel, Joel Eckerton's character and Tom Hardy's character fight with other people in this, in this movie, as much as I love fighting, as much as I love watching it, and as much as I get involved within it, there's a sense of, yeah, I know how it's going to turn out. And in the end, I kind of don't care. But I, I, think I still care about the action. I still come, I, I still care about the carry-out they come through within that success of finding other people. There's always a certain sense of, you know what the final conclusion is. You know how the, the final turn of the battle is, of this um, side battles within this movie, and, and there's this, and I, I, well, I did really enjoy them, and while I cared for those, that it just didn't seem that important. Well, it does. It, sh it is important because you need to show that evolution. You need to show that growth. And all these, you need to show all these certain triumphs they go through to, to deserve to get to a certain placement 
within the MMA to really deserve to get fight against each other. And there's moments when both of these characters are very, very close to getting knocked out, but you're just like, yeah, I know in the end that they're fighting each other, so I kind of, I kind of roll my eyes at that. And that for me is a, it's just a tiny, I won't say a tiny bit of distraction, but I would say that is a bit of a flaw I do with half the film. But aside from that, this film is one of the best of 2011. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's heartbreaking, it's emotional, wonderful acting, wonderful scripting, wonderful directing, and wonderful things are just a wonderful, wonderful, unforgettable film. And definitely, like I said before, the best um, boxing movie since Million Dollar Baby, The Fighter. I give it a 90 out of 100. Wait, no. I give it an 88% out of 100. So everyone, thank you for watching my review of The Warrior. I hope you like my review of this film and I hope you take consideration if you haven't seen this film or not. And thank you for watching everyone. Shit. Sorry. And I'll see you in the next video. And remember, stay strong because you are warriors.